I started the most challenging part of the 4x4 Ranchero build, the clutch master cylinder. I don't choose these challenges, they choose me. Hey YouTube, what are we doing today? Well, we're working on the 4x4 Ranchero. Again, we're gonna try and get this little guy right here. This is the uh, clutch master cylinder. We're gonna try and get it positioned with the new pedal assembly. Old pedal assembly, however you wanna look at that. We gotta get it, uh, the modified pedal assembly. And the key thing is we gotta get it to where this thing mounts more or less. This flange here is vertical like it's supposed to. It has a remote reservoir which helps us. And then we gotta make sure that the pedal travel is roughly the same as it was on the Mazda, which works out to about an inch and a quarter-ish, inch and a half, somewhere uh, somewhere in there. Total, total travel on this is about an inch and a half. So, yeah. Um, the biggest challenge, all right, so the biggest challenge is currently, this is the clutch pedal, the pin, the factory uh, Falcon pin is on the inside over here. And so that shoves this way over. And I have a feeling it's just not gonna have room there. But you know, where it's setting now, I can't tell anyway. It may be just fine. But I, uh, my suspicion is it kind of runs into collision with my steering column. So. We're going to tear this apart a little bit, or at least position it in a way that we can take a better look at it and get the geometry right, and then we're going to start cutting holes or welding on, because this may, I may need to extend this a little bit bigger out the side, you know, any number of things. But uh, yeah, let's get started. I have looked this over and I've looked it over and I'm not sure I have a solution. Um, so first of all, if I set it really tight in here, what ends up happening is when we, when the pedal moves forward, the pedal collides with the housing on the uh, cylinder. The other thing is if I put it way out here, this pivot distance here is really you know, the original pivot distance was what? Was it like, it was like two and three quarters? Now, that distance there really affects the feel of the pedal. Um, the, lar the larger that is, the stiffer the pedal's going to be. Well, if I set this thing kind of tight in here, which is not ideal. I mean, this doesn't give me a lot of room to work, even if I could put it there because, you know, like I said, the pedal collides and hits this. But you look at this distance here from the center point there, it's almost, it's like four inches. Four and, four, about four and a quarter, maybe four and three eighths, it, it, you know, whatever. Certainly not two and three eight, two and three quarters. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to do this. Because, see, the, the fundamental difference is the uh, pivot point on the Mazda, this pivot point here, was much further back. Now, I could shorten this rod. The other big issue is if I move this out to where the pedal clears it, this ends up making it where I'm going to have to create a pocket. I'm going to have to cut a big area out of the inner fender for this to set in, which may or may not be a problem. It just kind of depends on how it, you know, if there's going to be any inter in in interference with the wheel. 
All right, so I've stared at this thing until I'm starting to get a little bit of an idea here what we can do. Um, <laughs> this, of course, used to be vertical. The, the firewall used to be somewhat vertical. It, uh, it facilitates a lot, you know, air and stuff in, you know, that kind of, it, it, you know, it allows this to fill and, and stuff. Um, I think in order to get this the way I want it, we're going to move it out just as, without, we're not going to move it, we're going to try and avoid moving it too far out towards the uh, inner fender. But we're going to rotate this like that, I think to try and meet that uh, that distance up here at the pivot points. Because otherwise it, it's just too far. And I, I want the pedals to feel natural. I want them to feel right. Oh boy. And then we're just going to have to kind of bet on being able to fit that in the inner fender. Now I can probably move this up a little bit because I still have to make sure I've got clearance because, you know, there's going to be steering and stuff here, and then the, the pressure line has to be able to pass over. So I'm not sure that this won't work here. I'm going to go check underneath the dash, make sure there's no clearance issues up, up in this area, but I think that may be what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and cut. We're going to take a piece of sheet metal. We're going to cut it and drill it so that this thing will mount, and then we'll start kind of, we'll just rough this in you know, tack it in and try and get that more or less roughed in, and then we'll build in around where it goes. Uh, yeah. That's the, that's the best I can think of right now. Uh, why do I never drill them big enough? I think that's as close as, as, well, that's as far as we're getting tonight. Um, so the pedal would set at this height. And what we're going to do is, so this is just barely a little tiny bit of an angle. It's not much at all. Uh, we'll have to come back in and, uh, you know, reinforce, you know, proper, properly box that in and come around and stuff like that. But, just that little bit of an angle, that distance is almost dead nats, the two and three quarters, which is what was on the uh, Mazda. So that should give me pretty much the exact same feel of resistance on the pedal. 
I've got plenty of uh, access. I mean, it's a little snug, but I, I actually have access for the the hose for the uh, reservoir. And then here, this gives me plenty of clearance to kind of clear whatever steering mechanism I have down here. The only real challenge with the way I've got it set up now, I mean, I, of course, I still have to build whatever bracket that will weld to the pedal that brings the pivot, the little uh, pin to the connecting rod there. But then we will, when it comes time to do the, when we actually go to mount this, we're going to have to cut some sort of little pocket in the uh, inner fender so that that has a, has a place to fit because right now it's, you know, there's only this much space between where the uh, opening is in the firewall right now for the uh, steering column. And so that thing's in, th you know, a good three inches. So I'm, I'm going to have to cut some sort of little, we'll, we'll make some sort of shape for that. But yeah, it's not a lot done today, but you know what? It needed done. So that's where we're at. Anyway, uh, as always, give it a like, comment if you have a comment, questions if you have questions, and uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what's happening. I got a busy day tomorrow. Busy day. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We, uh, I have, I'm going to go look at some, uh, some machine tools. I'm going to go look at, and I got to go out to that job site and start backfilling a trench. And then we are going to, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get out early enough because one of the things I need to do is I need to go get some shield gas. And what I may do, I'm not really sure how I'm going to carve time for that, but I need to do it. So anyway, yeah, till next time. Bye.